really good, and, and the players giving us a lot of effort. Given Trey Bryant and then now Maurice Washington, what have they added to that running back race just getting those two guys in and rolling? Yeah, you know, Trey's uh, done a great job. We weren't sure what his health status would be. He's, he's looked great out there. Uh, obviously, Greg Bell had a good spring and is doing a good job. Uh, Maurice has come in and shown some things. I think Devine's uh, looking quicker and faster than I've ever seen him. Uh, Mikhail and uh, the other guys are doing a good job too. So we got some depth there. Uh, I think we're starting to get to a point where we got some home runner hitters in the backfield. And uh, this offense needs guys that can take the distance. Among other things in the last few years, the running back position after Amir left kind of took a decline. How important was it for you just in this first year to infuse that with more bodies to maybe get the vinyl a little? little uh, slimmer and create more of a, I don't know, an identity around that position? Well, you know, our offense is different than what they ran. And uh, the big, big difference in our offense is when you get a crease, are you going to get five, are you going to get 12, or are you going to go the whole way? And I think getting in shape and getting leaner for Devine has been big for him. Uh, he's at least a step faster. Uh, some of the young guys and, and new guys we brought in, along with Trey getting healthy, uh, it really looks like it's going to give us some weapons in the backfield. Uh, quarterbacks have been doing good. I'd like to see them be farther ahead right now than what they are. You know, the, the one thing is, that I think at the end of spring, they were doing a really good job, and it seemed like they got it. Uh, we didn't quite pick up there where we left off from spring. Um, I think the last few days I've seen a, a big improvement, but everything's just got to operate faster for them, and, and that'll come when they're familiar enough with the offense that it clicks in their mind faster. Uh, we got to make some quicker decisions out there, and. Uh, all the guys are doing a good job at times, but it, it's got to be more consistent. On the other side of the defense, they didn't create a lot of turnovers around here last year. Have you seen some active hands and, and you know, them, them causing chaos on that side of the ball so far? Yeah, tur turnovers is the biggest stat in football, and Nebraska wasn't very good at it uh, last year. Um, when you create turnovers and get our offense the ball back, hopefully we can do something with it. So we, we put a real emphasis on making sure we're active. We know where the ball is. We're ball aware and ball disruptive. Uh, we had more plays on the ball and interceptions in the first practice this fall than five practices put together in the spring. So I think adding some, some new talent in the secondary, getting some competition back there, along with just understanding the scheme and playing harder uh, has led to more turnovers. Anytime over the course of the game, there's going to be plays that show up. They just happen where a quarterback's going to, going to have to get out of the pocket and try to make something happen. Um, our job as coaches is going to be to give them as many plays where the decision can be quick and decisive as we can, particularly while they're young. Um, so we, we want them to get the ball out fast, make fast decisions, and then if stuff breaks down and they have to create, uh, those are the times for that. We're used to with St. Arnold. We stated all three quarterbacks bunch. Do you guys winnow that from three to two, or do you just go from three to one? And something? Yeah, we got a scrimmage coming up, and I think after that, um, we'll adjust the reps at all the positions, not just quarterback. And make sure we're getting more reps to guys that we think are ahead. Um, but you know, it, it seems like we've been here two months already. It's only been a little over a week, and um, there's still a lot more reps to be had for everybody. In terms of just decisions like checking it down, throwing it away, just not trying to squeeze balls in, where's Adrian? Adrian is, is great at times, and other times, uh, he, you know, he looks like it's moving a little too fast for him. And he's got to pick up his, his pace physically and mentally, and um, at times it's, it's tremendous. At, at other times, uh, when he's not quite sure, he's a little tentative. And that's the case of every quarterback that you get, particularly in this scheme. Uh, I just want to see him turn corners and, and keep making improvements. Is the key to that improvement just reps? Yeah, it's reps. Our meetings, we try to make quick. Uh, we always thought if, if you're trying to have them play fast on the field, then sitting in a meeting room and having it be slow paced doesn't make sense. So as many reps as we can give them in the classroom and on the field, uh, it gives them a better opportunity to improve. A lot of the players spoke really highly of Maurice Washington. Can you kind of talk on what you've seen out of Yeah, we're, we're glad to have Mo. Uh, you know, he had a long road to get here. 
Uh, but he's had probably a dozen uh, big plays, spectacular plays already in this camp. So he's definitely opening some eyes, and I, I think he's got a bright future here. Is he what you envisioned he would be when you watched him on tape and, and evaluated him that way? Uh, I'd say to this point, he's better than what I expected. Um, it's amazing he hadn't worked out much. He was focused on academics. Um, he was working. I don't think he was eating uh, and getting all the nutrition that he needed. He showed up actually quite a bit lighter than when he was here on his recruiting visit. Uh, so we didn't know what we would get, but um, he's going to be a pretty special player. Dom's a work in progress. Uh, we feel good about it still, but we don't have a definitive answer yet. The warm-ups. Uh, our guys have learned not to like the word stretch. Uh, stretch isn't sitting on the ground and doing hurdler stretch anymore for us. Uh, scientifically, the right way to get your body ready is active uh, preparation. So, um, actually started with us at Oregon with Coach Jimmy Radcliffe, who's a track coach and, it, and involved with all that science. But um, really, stretch is hard here. Uh, they're tired after stretch but it gets their bodies ready without much time. And uh, it's kind of a rite of passage, too, to be able to not just go through stretch, but, but really dominate stretch. And uh, it's a mentality thing for us as well as getting them right physically. You didn't get to see Luke get rid of the spray. Have you seen him kind of get his, his feet under him here in the first week? Yeah, Luke's another guy. I didn't really know what to expect from Luke other than what I'd seen on game tape. Um, I'd, I'd say that he's exceeded my expectations, too. Uh, he was still getting his sea legs under him a little bit at the beginning of camp, but uh, he's athletic, he's big, he has pass rush skill, he plays hard, he's, he's what you're looking for. I know this is a broad word, physicality. You, you talked to Big Ten media days about how when you were at Oregon, you obviously loved the offense, but there were games against Stanford, for example, where you wished it had been more physical and that part of your aim was to fuse Husker power and that, that scheme together. What's the physical profile of your team right now, and how physical do you think they are, and how much further they have to You know, Zach Duvall is as good as there is in the business, and he's changed our team. All you have to do is walk out on the field and look at each individual and see how much improvement they've made um, with their bodies, with their speed, with their strength. Uh, along with that, it's got to be guys that are willing to fight and strain. And really, being tough is a mentality. Um, I got the impression watch, walking, watching from afar that last year when things got tough, the team kind of shut it down and quit. And they tell me the same thing. Uh, I don't want guys that will quit. I want guys when things get hard uh, that they're going to push through and be even better in those situations. And, Again, that goes back to a mentality. I think physically, uh, we're getting to a good place where we're, we're strong enough to be physical. Uh, the rest of it's got to come mentally. Is there, is there a player or players that kind of epitomize that so far in camp that, that I, you've identified as the people who are fighting and straining the way you like? Yeah, uh, if I had to pick one out, Stanley Morgan. Um, it helps if you love football. And when he goes out on the field, he loves the game. He doesn't want to lose. Uh, seems like he's at full speed no matter what. Um, Luke Gifford's been the same way. I'd say Mo Berry and uh, Will Honus and, and Dredick Young at inside linebacker are playing that way. But I want a whole team of them. I want a whole team that when they're tired, they're going to gonna play even harder. And when we're behind, they're going to play even harder. And in the fourth quarter, we're going to play even harder. Um, we got a ways to go to get to that mentality. One more, guys. Just young guys playing tackle on the offensive side. What do you make of your, your depth on the outside side? We got good depth at some places and not as much depth as I, as I would like at other positions. Um, still kind of waiting on a couple young tackles uh, behind Hymas and Farniak to step up and, and earn our trust that, that we're going to put them in a game. And uh, some guys, that, just like quarterback, have showed signs there, but I haven't seen it consistently enough. If King and Alexander uh, were not on the 110, uh, are they still part of the team? And if so, what do you want to see? Yeah, Quayshawn's dealing with an injury. Um, we're not going to have him this year uh, as he's rehabbing. Um, Cedric King's going through some personal things, and, and we're trying to be there for him. Um, he had to go back to Florida to handle a situation, and I, I expect him to be back in Lincoln at some point and, and make a decision if he's uh, going to need to spend his time on that or his time with the football team.